now. Ethan, you're sneezing too? Blow your nose, sweetie. I better call and make appointment for the doctor soon. Hi, Dr. Sky. Hi. Here's Emma and Ethan. Okay, Emma, it's your turn now. It looks like her temperature is up. Can you please give me two flu tests for these kids? Yes. Here you go, Dr. Sky. First, we're going to drink some vitamin C. Yay! feeling better. Yay, Emma! Look, guys, even Ethan is feeling better. <laughs> Emma, Ethan, it's time to wake up. These guys slept past their wake time. I wonder what's going on. Let me see. Uh-oh. Ethan is feeling warm. Ethan, wake up. What about Emma? Emma is warm too. Oh no, guys. I think they're getting sick. They must have picked up some germs while we were shopping at Walmart. Uh-oh. She's coughing too. And sneezing. Emma, are you okay? I don't feel good. You don't feel good? Oh no. Of course you can have a hug. Come here. Oh, poor thing. What about Ethan? They were just fine yesterday. Ethan, come on, wake up. He looks so drowsy. Oh no. Ethan, you're sneezing too? Oh, don't cry. It's okay. And coughing. Oh my goodness, guys. We'll have to start getting you feeling better right away. Uh-oh, Emma. Here, I have a tissue for you. Blow your nose, sweetie. Oh, good job. What about you, Ethan? Can you blow your nose? You having a hard time? Try again. Oh my, that was a big sneeze. Well, kids, I better go get you something to drink while you're playing here. Something that will make you feel better. Here, do you guys want your teethers? Here's your teether, Emma. And here's Ethan's. Do you want your rattles too? There you go. Here's one for you, Emma. Ethan, I got something for you to drink. Emma? Ethan? Guys, did you go to sleep again? Oh, poor things. They're not feeling good. I'm not sure they will even have appetite to eat today. Oh, I feel so bad for them. I sure hope it's not the flu. That would be terrible. I better call and make appointment for the doctor soon. Hello, this is Dr. Sky's office. Oh, hi, Dr. Skye. I'm so glad I got you on the phone. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Well, I'm doing well, but Emma and Ethan are not doing well. They're sneezing, coughing, and I think they have a little bit of fever, too. Do you think we could come in today in your office and you could check them? Sure thing. I have an opening today. How about 9 o'clock? Oh, that sounds great. We'll be there. See you then. Bye. Bye. Emma, Ethan, come on. You gotta get up now. We're gonna go to Dr. Sky today. Are you excited? She's such a nice doctor. So kind. Come on, Emma. I don't feel good. I know you don't feel good. I am so sorry. But we'll get you feeling good in no time, okay? Okay, guys. Now let's get you out of your pajamas. And let's get your diapers changed. And get you ready to go. To Dr. Sky for your appointment, okay? Let's get this pajamas off. Now it's your turn, Ethan. How are you?
are you feeling? Are you still warm? Kind of are. I don't feel good. Yes, I know. You don't feel good. <coughs> check up, please. Yes, you do need a check up. That's why we're going to go to the Dr. Sky, okay? Okay, baby girl, let's dress you up. We're going to put this undershirt on first because it's kind of chilly today and you don't want to be cold when you're sick because that could only make you sicker. Let's put on her socks. These are really nice. They're going to keep her legs warm. And now let's put this knitted dress on. I don't think we've tried this one on before. Let's see if it fits her really good. Oh, look at her. She's looking so cute. So this is really fitting since we have cold weather right now. Let's dress you up real good. Oh, doesn't she look like a darling? Oh my, I love it. Okay, Ethan, it's your turn, come. And we're going to dress up Ethan in a very cute outfit too. First, we're going to put on a little dinosaur onesie on him. Now we're going to put these white and green striped pants on him. And this cute little dinosaur hoodie. Look at that. He has a dinosaur face with teeth. And look, we can put this hoodie on him. Oh, how cute. Zip it up. He's too cute. Look at him. Little baby dinosaur. I love it. But wait, we forgot to put socks on him. Are they the cutest things or what? They sure are. Well, we better hurry up. I have to buckle them in their car seats and get their diaper bag ready. And we'll jump in the car and go to see Dr. Sky and see what is wrong with them today. And I sure hope it's just a common cold and nothing more. Okay, kiddos, here we go. Let's get you all buckled, Emma. Now Ethan's turn. Great, and now both are ready. Let's give them something to snack on on the way. And we're ready to go. Okay, guys, let's quickly get their diaper bag ready. We're not going to take too many things, but we'll definitely need some wipes and a couple more diapers. We should definitely get their passies because they are pretty fussy today. And their teethers in there. And I thought it would be good to take some food with us because they didn't really eat anything yet. They didn't really have appetite, but if they get hungry, I can feed them um, this on the way. So let's see if we can fit this here. And this one's right here. Oh, it's kind of getting full in here now. And of course, we'll need their spoons to eat their baby food with. So there we go. I think we're ready. Okay, guys, time to go. Let's get in the car. Okay, Emma's gonna go first. There you go. And Ethan is going to go. Here we go. Let's see, make sure it clicks. There, I think he's all set. Let's take your little puffs and set them right here. Emma's looking cute over there. And so is Ethan. Let's put the stroller and the diaper bag in and we'll be ready to go. Okay, we need to try to put the stroller in here. And of course, our diaper bag is going to go right there. Ready, Ethan? Ready, Emma? Let's go. You guys are doing okay there? We're here. Let's go. We're here, guys. Ready to go? Okay, let's get the stroller out. Here we go, Ethan. How are 
are you doing, buddy? Are you okay? Let me go get Emma quick, okay? All right, Emma, I'm gonna come get you in a minute. Hi, baby, how are you doing? Are you ready to go to the Dr. Sky's office? Okay, let's go. Here's your brother. There we go. Okay, everybody ready? Let's go. Okay, Emma and Ethan, I think we're right on time. And we'll see Dr. Sky in just a minute, okay? Emma and Ethan, Dr. Sky is ready to see you now. Oh, thank you. Wonderful. Let's go, Emma and Ethan. Let's go. Hi, Dr. Sky. Hi. Here's Emma and Ethan. Hi, Emma and Ethan. How are you doing? Well, they're doing okay, but not too well today because they're a little bit sick. So I just wanted you to check them and see if they don't have a flu or something bad. Okay, I can check them. Well, let's take them out of their car seats and take a look. All right, let's do that. Thank you. You're so kind, Dr. Skye, for having us so early in the morning. Come, Ethan. Come on, Emma. Let's get these car seats out of the way. Can you tell me again what symptoms they're having? Sure. Well, they're both sneezing and they're both coughing. And I feel like they're both um, have a little bit of temperature. Do you feel that? Yeah. They're just kind of sleepy and not really interested in playing or eating. So I'm a little bit worried about them. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, let's take their clothes off all the way to their diaper and then I can take a look. Okay. Better off. And we'll take her hat off. They look so cute today. Oh, thank you, Dr. Skye. Come on, Ethan. Can we leave their socks on? Sure. Okay, to keep their feet warm. Emma is ready. Ethan's almost ready. Pull it off this way. Uh oh, the diaper coming off. <laughs> we don't want your diaper to come off, baby boy. Well, let's first weigh them on the scale. Sure. There's Emma. Let's see. Looks like she gained a couple of pounds from the last time I saw her. Oh, that's good. It's Ethan's turn. Looks like he also gained a couple of pounds. Well, good. Okay, so first let's check their temperature. Sure. Let's first do Ethan. Oh, it doesn't look good. Yes, because he was warm. How about Emma? Okay, Emma, it's your turn now. It looks like her temperature is up. Oh. Yeah, it definitely seems like something's going on with them. Let me check their blood pressure. Okay, Ethan, give me your hand. Don't be scared, Ethan. It'll be okay. Looks good. Oh, good. How about Emma? Okay, Ethan. Here, let's switch. Hers looks also good. Wonderful. Let me check their ears and nose. Okay. Let me see. That ear looks good. This one looks good. It's Ethan's turn now. Okay, Ethan. The doctor's just going to look inside of your ear. It doesn't hurt. That one looks good. And this one looks good too. Oh, how nice. So there's no ear infection? No. Oh, that's wonderful. So now let's check their nose. First Ethan's turn. Nothing there. So Ethan's nose is good. Okay, here's Emma. Let's check Emma's. Her nose is also good. Oh, I'm so glad. Let me check in their mouth. Okay. Yeah, the throat looks a little red. Aww. What about Ethan? Let's check Ethan now. Open your mouth, Ethan. Say, ah. Open your mouth, Ethan. Say, ah. His throat 
also looks red. Hmm. Do you know what they might have? Do you think they have a flu? Well, we'll need to test that, but first let's check their heartbeat. Okay. Oh, all right, Ethan, it's your turn first. That sounds good. Let's turn him around now. Okay, let's check your back. Let's check your lungs. Ethan, blow some air like you're blowing out a candle. Yeah, go. That sounds good. Oh, that's great. So their lungs are clear. Okay, how about Emma? All right, Emma, it's your turn. Let's first do your heart. That sounds good. Okay, now it's your turn to blow out the candle, Emma. Go blow like this. That sounds great. Oh, I'm glad there's nothing wrong with their lungs. Yeah, I'm glad that their lungs sound clear. Yeah, me too. Let me go ask my helper to get me some flu tests. Oh, sure. Did he need me to help the sky? Yes, can you please give me two flu tests for these kids? Yes. Thank you. Here you go, Dr. Sky. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, now I'm gonna test them for the flu. Okay, so what do we do? Well, I'm gonna first do it on Ethan. What we're gonna do, Ethan, is we're gonna put this little Q-tip in your nose and it might tickle a little bit. Okay, be brave, Ethan. Oh, there you go. He did well. Yes, he did. It's your turn, Emma. There we go. She did well too. Oh, she did. Good job, Emma. Let me ask my helper to check the results. All right. Can you please take this to the laboratory? Yeah. Here is the test result. Thank you. Let me see. Well, the good news is that they don't have a flu. Oh, I'm so glad. It's probably just a common cold. Oh, okay. Well, Dr. Sky, what do you recommend we do at home to get them better? Well, they should get lots of rest and lots of water and you should continue giving them vitamin C. Oh, okay, we can do that. And do you think they'll be better soon? Yes, and they should be better in no time. Aww. But if they have fever still, you should give them a cool bath. And if that okay. doesn't work, I can give you some medicine. Oh, okay. That would be nice. Here. Oh, is this the medicine? And how much do I give them? Just a little teaspoon. Oh, and I see this one is cherry flavored. Yes, it is. Oh, they probably will like that. Okay, you can dress them now and I'll write a couple notes for you. Okay, thank you, Dr. Skye. Here, let's dress Emma first. Ethan, while your sister is dressing, do you want to look at a book? Oh, that would be nice. Look at this one. Oh, your doctor's office is so fun to come to. Here. Can look at it. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad you dressed them up warm, because that will help them feel better soon. Oh, thank you. That's what I thought too. Okay, Ethan, it's your turn. Dr. Sky, do you have a book for a girl? Oh, sure. Here, I can put this one back. I think Emma will like this one. It's about colors, and oh, it has yeah. black. Oh, that's so cute. Isn't it fun? Mm -hmm. Like it? You are the best doctor ever! Thank you, Emma. Look, it's your favorite color, pink. <laughs> Some cupcakes. Dr. Skye is the best doctor ever. We really like to come to Dr. Skye. She always helps us and she's always so kind and always has fun things in her office. Right, Ethan? Mm-hmm. Sounds like she likes this book a lot. Yeah. If Emma and Ethan start feeling worse, please call me and you can come.
come back into my office. Oh, thank you. We sure will. But I hope that they will be well soon. Oh, thank you, Dr. Sky. You're too kind. Okay, guys, I think it's time to go. Say bye bye to Dr. Sky. Bye bye. Oh, thank you. Let's take a look. It says they are both sick and it's signed by Dr. Skye. Oh, good morning, Emma. Good morning, Ethan. How are you guys doing? I know you didn't sleep very well at night. Let me feel your temperature, Emma. Still warm. And Ethan, too. You guys don't look too good. I think we gotta keep working on making you feel better. Let's come out of your crib and I'll prepare some good things for you to take that will help you feel better. Here, let's wash your faces. So you can feel fresh and wake up. Now let's blow our noses. Here's one for Ethan. Blow your nose, Ethan. Good job. Now you, Emma. Blow your nose, baby. Good job. Emma, would you like to wear a little bow on your head to make you feel better? Yes, Mama. Okay. Let's put it on you. There you go. You're looking better now. All right, guys, there's lots of good remedies for us to take today to make you feel better. First, we're going to drink some vitamin C. What do you think? Yay! Yay! Wonderful, I know you love vitamin C drink. And today we're going to have raspberry. We will also have to take some black elderberry syrup. And this one is perfect for when you have cold or flu. And it tastes wonderful. And for your sore throats and coughing, we're going to take some medicinal manuka honey. Yum! Who loves honey? Me! Me! I know, you both love honey. We will also do some water treatments today so that your fever and sore throat will go away. We'll use these cloths to do neck compresses with hot and cold water. And if we have a hard time getting your fever down, we'll have to take this medicine that Dr. Sky gave us. And of course, we'll give you lots of water to drink. Okay, first let's take your temperature, Emma. Put it under your tongue. Let's see. Nope, that doesn't look good. Too high. Let's check Ethan's. Under your tongue. Ethan still has fever too. Well, I think let's start your morning off with vitamin C juice. Let's bring out our blender. It will help us to make a nice vitamin C drink. Let's turn it around so we can see the numbers. Let's pour some water in. This should be enough. Let's open up our vitamin C packet. Ooh, that looks yum. And we're going to pour in just half of it. Let's close the lid up, turn our blender on and start. I think our juice is ready. We'll let it sit for a minute so it can all dissolve in the water. And I'm gonna go get their bottles. All right, here are your bottles, guys. Let's open them up and fill them up with vitamin C. First for Emma. Ooh, that looks so yummy. Close it up. Here you go, Emma. Hold on to it. Now let's do Ethan's. Yum, yum, yum. Close it up. Here you go, Ethan. Now before you drink it, let us put bibs on. Now you're ready. Here we go. He's doing so well. Good job, Ethan. He must really love it. Good boy, 
Ethan, you can finish it up now. Now it's Emma's turn. Here we go, Emma. Emma is doing well too. All right, Emma, do you wanna finish it up on your own? There's just a little bit left. Look at them, they're doing such a good job. When you take your special medicine, you will soon feel much better. Okay guys, are you all done? Now you can play a little bit until it's breakfast time and after breakfast we'll take some more medicine, okay? Okay, mama. Good. All right guys, you did well eating your breakfast. Now that you're done with your cereal, we can have some more medicine for you. All right, now it's time for your elderberry syrup. And I put it in a special spoon for you. Look at that. So this one will be for Emma. Here you go, Emma. She's drinking it up so well. Good job, Emma. Look, you drink the whole thing. Good girl. Now it's Ethan's turn. There we go, yum. Here you go, Ethan. Drink it up. Good boy, he drank the whole thing also. Good job, guys. You'll be feeling better in no time. Now let's give you all some honey. Here's some for Ethan. Good job. He ate it up. And one for Emma. She did so well. Okay, let's close it up. Okay, Emma and Ethan, you can go play for now. But soon, we would have to do some water treatments, okay? I don't want to. Oh, Ethan, it's not going to be so bad. You'll see. All right, guys. Ready for your water treatments? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm not. That's okay, Ethan. Looks like Emma's going to have to show you how to be brave. Right, Emma? Yeah. Okay, so what we'll need is two bowls filled with water. One hot water, but not too hot. And one really cold water. Some washcloths. We'll use this one for Emma. Look how pretty it is. And we'll use this one for Ethan. Now we're going to fold them in a way that would make a compress around the neck. Something like this. We're gonna start with Emma since she is more braver than Ethan right now. So we're going to fold it up like this. We're going to dip it in the hot water. It shouldn't be too hot to burn, but as warm as you can handle. Bring it out, then apply it right to the neck, like that. And leave it on for three to four minutes. And it will feel good. Does it feel good, Emma? That's right. It will help your sore throat to go away. When the three minutes is up, you take the same cloth and you dip it in cold water now. You wring it out and then quickly apply it to the neck. Oh, that's cold. Yes, but you only do it for 30 seconds, real quick. And then as soon as 30 seconds is done, you put it in the hot water, wring it out and put it on again. So this treatment is called contrast compress to the neck. And this usually helps with the sore throat and cough. And you should do at least five to six changes. Okay, now let's try to do Ethan's. Okay, Ethan, here goes yours. Let's see, wring it out. Oh, nice and warm. This will feel good, don't even worry. Doesn't that feel good? Yeah, it feels warm. See, it's not so bad. Emma seemed to really like it. Okay, let's change out Emma's to the cold. Now let's change Ethan's to the cold. Oh, that's cold! I know, but then it goes away. And it feels warm again, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, Emma, it's time for a warm one.
All right, guys, we'll finish up with the cold one. And you did it! Good job, Ethan! Good job, Emma! Now your blood will be circulating much better around your neck and your sore throat will start feeling much better soon. We can also use these cloths to put it over their foreheads to make sure that their fever doesn't go too high. Just like that. There you go, Ethan. You guys are such good sports. I'm so proud of you. Well, let's check the temperature again and see if they're feeling any better. Here you go, Emma. Oh, look, Emma is feeling better. Yay, Emma. How about Ethan? Look, guys, even Ethan is feeling better. I'm so glad for them. Looks like all of our treatments and remedies are really helping. Well, Emma and Ethan, you're doing very well. If you continue to work with mommy and let me do the treatments for you and help you get better, I will have a special surprise for you when you get better. A surprise? I love surprises. Me too. What is it going to be? Well, you'll have to wait and see. All right, Emma and Ethan, I think it's time to change your diapers. And after that, it's time to take a nap. And naps will also make you feel better. All right, let's take a look. Yep, it's really wet. We have to change it. Let's get our wipes and diapers. Good job, Emma. Now it's Ethan's turn. Let's take a look, Ethan. Okay. Wow, guys. It's wet too. He's getting sleepy already. I better go put them in their bed. Here we go, Ethan and Emma. Here are your toys to snuggle with. Here's your dolly, Emma. Let me cover you up just a little bit. Have a good nap, Emma and Ethan. I hope you're feeling better soon. Sweet dreams.